What's up dudes? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Chloe. I am a full-time college student and a part slash full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, DotUp, and The Real Real. If you're not new here, welcome back and thanks for coming back. <laughs> if at any time in this video you are enjoying yourself, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below and let me know. If you like reseller related content, including lots and lots of hauls, what sold videos, and lots of how to's and new stuff coming your way in 2021, hit that subscribe button and then right next to it, hit the bell notification so you know when new videos come out. And today is holla holla, it's dollar dollar days. What? <laughs> We're working on it. <laughs> this is from, I want to say like, a week ago, a week and a half ago, maybe? I don't know, it was a while ago. But it was my last time thrifting. I'm like majorly on a thrifting hiatus because A, I have too much stuff, and B, like COVID, you know. So I believe this is the second half, um, cause I went to like three, three Goodwills in one day and there was so much stuff. And I think I ended up spending like $106 or something. And like half of that went to thread up. So I think this is like probably 40 items, but every single thing was a dollar. So cost of good, a dollar, I'll take it. Let's get started. First up is a pair of shoes. How many times can Chloe say she's not picking up shoes anymore, but then pick up shoes? Yeah, too many times. But these were just so cute. Are they not so cute? They're a pair of Corks by Corkies, and they're just adorable. And they're pretty like simple and plain. That's why I like them. Oh, that's not gonna focus. Okay, well that's fine. Um, and they're in really good condition. I thought about sending them, in, sending them into thread up, but it has a couple little scuffs here. And then, oh, this light is not my friend today. Um, but it has a couple little scuffs and I was like, yeah, I don't know, especially with their new changes right now. I don't know if that would be the best idea. So yeah, I'm going to try to sell them. The comps were like not that bad and they're pretty simple and easy to store. So at least I only picked up one pair y'all. Like it could be worse, you know? <laughs> um, this is just a cute little pair of sweats. It's like a, they're like kind of capri, but like not really. The brand is Lucky Lotus. Um, I had heard this brand be said before, and that's why I picked it up. So sometimes when I'm at Dollar Days, I'll do comps, and sometimes I won't. At this Dollar Day, and especially this store, I was struggling really hard because there was just so much good stuff, and I was tired, and I had been thrifting all day long, so I just went with my gut feeling. And I put some stuff back, but I made sure everything didn't have flaws. And these were just really cute, and I had recognized it before. And it had one of these, like, little style tags. And a lot of the times when things have style tags, like, they're a little nicer. Excuse my ugly nails right now. Our nail salon's closed, so. <laughs> Pour one out. <laughs> just kidding. Third world, or first world problems. I almost said that wrong. <laughs> okay. Y'all know how much I love denim. So this is just a pair of jeans. The brand I had never, oh, that's a stain. That's exciting. I'll throw this in the wash. Anyways, the brand I had never heard of, the brand is Warp, Warp and Weft. The brand looked cool. I thought the jeans were cute. They're a little high rise and they're kind of like a mom style, but there's a couple questionable stains on the butt here. I don't know, like that little stain right there. I don't questionable but I have a feeling it'll come out in the wash so I will put those in the wash pile another pair of jeans um I'm gonna be honest I don't know why I got these maybe for style I just thought they were cute I think I might have gotten them for like play-dohs or something but I'm not doing that as much anymore um but the brand is denim and co which is like a cheaper brand it's like a european brand i think like one of those boutique -y fast fashion brands but it's a size eight and they're like super high rise and they've got the little busted knee and i just hit my head on the wall did y'all see that it was super exciting and loud <laughs> but um if i do sell them like i'll probably only make 20 25 bucks on those if even um i haven't decided though if i'm gonna go to play-dohs i have like a huge stockpile of stuff right now that i'm i'm working on getting rid of so that would be why I'm not thrifting. One of the reasons, but another pair of jeans. These are just old navy. 
Um, I do need to, like, stop picking up, like, cheap stuff, but also, like, it sells really quick. And these are cute. They're, like, very lightly distressed. They're a high-rise. They are rock star, which is, like, well, I guess they say mid-rise, but this is definitely high-rise. But they're the Old Navy Rockstar, which is a very well-known style. People know their size. And they're a size 10, which is, like, a really good size. So I think that'll be, like, an easy $20 right there. And then the pair of jeans. This is, like, a Junior's brand that I used to wear all the time until I got a womanly figure and I can't fit my butt in it. But the brand is Bullhead, which is PacSun's denim brand. They are the skinniest, and they're a size 5. I just thought they were really cute um, and simple and plain. And they're just a little skinny, but they're high-rise. So, they're in. You know, high-rise is the talk of the town right now. I did get some activewear, loungewear stuff that I found, which I was excited about. These are just some cute little lounge pants, and they're my bae, American Eagle. Y'all know I have a thing for her. I don't know why. But they're just really, like, relaxed little lounge pants, and they have, like, a little thing here at the ankle. Super fun. And these are a size medium. Like, I almost want to keep these, but I know I shouldn't. And they're also, like, very thin. Like, I can see through to the light right now. <laughs> so, uh, don't bend over where there is a light, and you'll be fine. $20 on this. This is a pair of Nikes. They're just this cute little active shorts, um, you know, active wear season's coming up. And they're a good size, they're size large, they're just Nike Sport, sphere dry to be exact. And the color is so cute. It's a little teal. I like it. 15 bucks on those. Another pair of active wear, and these were like a, I don't know why I got these. A lot of the times, y'all, I'll pick up seven, I'll get home and be like, why did I do that? But these are a pair of Adidas yoga pants, but they're capri, and I would never wear these, so I don't know why I thought someone would want these. I, I don't know. They're a cool color, though, but they're like a wide leg capri. I don't know. $10, $15 for those. I'll still sell them, but sometimes I question myself, and I wonder... This is a pair of yoga pants, but it's full length, and they're super comfortable lounge pants, you know? Like, yoga pants aren't in as much as they used to be, but I feel like with quarantine and stuff, I wouldn't mind wearing them. And they're Gap Fit, which, if you don't know, Athleta is owned by Gap, and so quality-wise, Gap Fit and Athleta are literally the same. Why Athleta has a name and Gap doesn't, don't ask me. Make it make sense, but, <laughs> yeah. So these are... A pair of adidas they're just sweats but they're an ankle zip but they're like a thick leg not skinny but i don't think it matters and they're a bigger size as well these are a size large are you comfortable my dog is like messing with everything good okay <laughs> these are a size large oh he's not good okay shake it off yeah i'll wait for you you done? Okay. He's like sitting on all the clothes. Luckily, he's not a shedder, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> and he does it all the time. Anytime I bring new clothes home, he has to go find a way to sit on them. I don't know. <laughs> I really like this. This was super cute. It's this little activewear high neck to keep your neck warm, like when you're running. It's just C9 by Champion, which is... Target. I think it's sold at Target and Walmart. I don't know, but it's a size 2X. So it's a good size and it's literally brand stinking new. This thing's never been washed. It's so cute and it's got this little side thing right here. So I was excited about that. Maybe like 20, maybe 25 if I'm feeling ambitious. I don't know. I'll probably price it at 25 and see what happens. These were cool. I had no idea what this brand was, but I was like, I can't leave these behind. They're just, look at them. They're so cool. And the brand is Burton. And the tag is, like, stitched on here. And usually when that happens, it's like a, mm, that might be a good brand. So I looked it up, and it actually is a good brand. I looked it up when I got home. So reseller intuition. Um, they're really thin, so they're not, like, active leggings. They're more just, like, loungy leggings. But they're not, like, the thin cotton material. I don't know. Is this polyester? It's probably polyester. Of course it doesn't have a fabric tag, because why would it have a fabric tag? That would make it too easy. 
yeah well I'm pretty sure these are like a nylon polyester blend but they're cute they're size extra small so they're teeny weeny I think like 15 20 for those another active wear piece this one I'm pretty sure I bought for play-dohs but I don't know if it'll make it to play-dohs or not but it's just Reebok but it's just an active wear top and play-dohs is always looking for active wear so that was the main reason I bought it but this was before I had decided that Plato's is kind of on the outs for me right now. I'm not too pleased with them, but that's a story for another day. Okay, and then this is just another pair of Nike shorts. So like the exact same as the teal. Pretty sure they came from the same person because these are also a size large. There you go, just simple Nike. Pretty sure it's the older style, but they're a good size and they're just a basic like soccer short. So, or football, I don't know. What do y'all call it? I'm like very American, so very Americanized. I don't even know what that means but so I call it soccer even though I know the official term is football this is a pair of like thick Nike sweats but it's like the soft fabric oh it's so nice I love these and they've got like they're lined oh they're so nice they're size large I feel like all these like activewear stuff came from the same person like genuinely <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are like a men's size large and they've just got like a nice little ankle slit right here um, maybe with the ankle slip they're not men's. I don't really know. I'll have to, I'll have to figure it out. But these are fun. Maybe like 30 for those. Okay. These are just a pair of Levi's. Nothing special. It's a pair of straight leg Levi's. Oh, is that a stain? No, that's just my eyes. Yeah, I think that's just my eyes. Sometimes I like see colors. Is that, I don't know. They're a good size though. They're a size 16 medium. They're plus size. They're clearly an older style, but can't say no to a good pair of Levi's. And they're like the like good jean, like they're real denim material, not like the cheapy stuff. Oh, they've got some love on the soles here. Soles on the legs, him. Ugh. Okay, I don't know. $15 for those with that flaw. So key. This is a new to me brand as well. The brand is Chip and Pepper. Um, I just went with my intuition. They are, it looks like a mid-rise. And this was the tag I saw, so that's embroidered on. And I was like, okay. And then I saw another one that's like embroidered on. And I was like, okay, I think, I think this could be a good brand. And then it said made in Los Angeles, California. And I was like, okay, you've got me hooked. And another thing embroidered on. So I really was like, I can't say no to this. Like, this is just a, like, everything you want in a pair of jeans. And they're this cute little jean here. They've got some wear here on the bottom, but I'm not too worried about it because these are the kind of jeans that would look really cute cuffed up. So I'll definitely note the flaw, but I'll say, like, really cute boyfriend cuffed up style. But yeah, I don't remember the comps on that, if I'm being completely honest. I've had some really good shorts this day, because nobody's shopping shorts right now, so all the shorts be on the dollar days. She's a pair of American Eagle. I love my girl, American Eagle. I don't know why I'm assuming they are a girl, but they're the boy midi. midi? Boy midi. Boy midi. Size two. So they're smaller, but they're high rise and cute. They're little cutoffs. This is a pair of Levi's in much better condition than the previous ones. And this is definitely a newer style. You can just tell by the way this has like not moved. And it's silver. I haven't seen that very many times. This is a perfectly slimming size 12. And they literally look brand new. Like nowhere at all. So my guess is new without tags. Oh, I didn't notice this. They've got this cute little embroidery on the pocket that matches the butt pocket. That's fun. They're a bigger size two I don't know what size let's find out size 10 waist 30 length 29 so they're short they're like a 10 I don't know does Levi say petite or short I don't know but they're I think they're shorter anyways not that you care <laughs> another pair of Levi's they just had a lot of Levi's at the store this is a little stain I need to wash off actually I can just scratch it off right now huh perks okay <laughs> another pair of Levi's these are a darker wash these are the curvy skinny, size 30, probably came from the same person. This butt pocket's got issues. I can probably scratch all of this off, to be honest, but I'm probably just going to put it in the wash and see if it comes out. But yeah, these also, like, have not, like, she wore it once and sat on something, I guess. I don't know. 
Like, I, do you guys do that? Do you try to make up stories, like, what happened to items? Like, if you get flawed items or something, like, or you find a bunch of the same thing, and you're like, this is from the same person. I bet this woman was blah, blah, blah. Like, I do that all the time. There's a cute little pair of, like, mom shorts. I don't want to use the word vintage, but they give me, like, a retro style. They're writers. I don't want to say vintage because this does not look vintage to me. It looks too new to be vintage. But, of course, there are no tags in it, so I'll just have to give measurements. But they're, like, the cute, like, charcoal, not charcoal, but, like, washed out black. And then they've got the cuffs. Like, I don't think these were, are, like, cutoffs. Like, I think these were manufactured this way. I didn't even know writers made, like, manufactured high waist mom shorts. Like, what? <laughs> well, apparently they do. But they're super cute. They're super in style, not in season, but very stylish. So I'm thinking 25 or 30 when the season is right. I also bought these for Pleitos, but I don't know if they'll make it. They're just Aeropostale, which I used to love that brand when I was in high school and like middle school. These are the Bela Skinny, but they're size 12, so they're a good size. And I loved this patching. Again, this was like a quick decision, and this patching is just so stinking cute, I couldn't say no to it. So even if they don't make it to play those, they're also in very good condition. Like, never been worn, worn maybe once. Um, but if I don't send them to play those, I think I can make like 20, 25 off of those. So not too bad. This is my girl, American Eagle, once again. I love her. This is just the skinny. I think this is older style, though. Yeah, it's from 2011, which is okay. But they're a size 10 long, which is why I got them. Because I feel like that's not something you come by every day. And they're just a little skinny leg. They're in really good condition. The bottom has a little bit of wear, but I feel like that's almost, like, every pair of denim you come across now that's used. Especially if they're not, like, ankle skinny, like, stuck to your ankle. Because when you walk, you step on them. And that's how that... Especially if you're me and you're really short. Do y'all think I'm short? Like, I know you've never seen me in real life, so, like, how short do you, how tall do you think I am? Guess, guess in the comments below. What, what do you think my height is? <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> Anyways, this is a pair of just Nike dry fit. They're just black leggings, but they are a capri, which is stinky, but they're black, and everyone needs black leggings, so, yeah, fifteen twenty for those. On to the next bag. This was a new to me brand as well, but I felt like I had heard it before. So the brand is just Head. That's it, just, just Head. <laughs> and I think it's because their logo is a head, but yeah, I saw that. I just thought they were cute and they're pink and they're fun, little track shorts and the comps are great. So I'm excited about that. Maybe like 25, 30 if I'm lucky for that. This was a, is a brand that I think is sold at like Kohl's or something. But I just love this style. Like, it's super, gives me big California vibes. But the brand is Hang 10, which is like a, it's like a surf wear brand. I think it started out as like a, their own store line or something. But I think it's sold at somewhere like Kohl's or JCPenney's or something. I don't know. Do y'all know? But I'm pretty sure they originated in California. I don't know. I could totally be wrong, but who knows? Speaking of, Valtha, <laughs> skate brand. <laughs> this is just a cute sweater. I love this style and this color. I'm a sucker for maroon. And it's Volcom, which is just a nice little skate brand, size medium. Um, the retail is, like, high-ish, but not, like, super high. Like, me in high school could not afford the retail. Like, that sweater probably retail like, $60. Um, like, nowadays, I'm like, wow, that's cheap. But, like, in high school, I was like, huh. That's a lot of money. Let's go to Forever 21, guys. <laughs> just terrible, but this, I love it. It's just so cute. I've sold this brand a number of times. The brand is Alternative, which is an athletic wear brand. I have no idea where it is sold. Um, I feel like every time I look it up, I forget where it's sold. So no matter how many times I look up comps, I still don't remember where it's sold. And then after this video, I'm going to remember and be like, yeah, darn, you know? Um, like 20 for that. Another pair of Nike shorts. These ones are like the different material though. They're like a softer, like the sweats. But they are also a size large. I'm telling you, the same woman, was a, she was a runner. Oh, and this one's got a button pocket, which is fun. Oh, I'm going to like break the button as I do that. <laughs> but yeah, they're in really good condition. And the white has, oops, spoke too soon. 
It has a couple of black marks, which I think is just from being in the bag. I'll just wash them. Hopefully that'll come out. Not too worried about it. These I was super excited about. These are so cute and they're cabby. So cute. But they're like these olive green little cargo like utility pants and they're like a jogger and like an anchor zip anchor zip ankle zip they give me like total cotton on vibes and I saw they were cabby and cabby actually does pretty well for me I like cabby so I actually sent like all my cabby into thread up and then they accepted it but it actually no this that came back to me they didn't accept it make it make sense I don't know why but I'm gonna keep it and sell it because thread up is you know she's doing mm. anyways this I picked up purely off of style so cute super cali vibes ew i just said cali california oh. okay this is chaps which is definitely a department store brand i think this is a men's line too so i'm pretty sure probably a men's shirt but i'm gonna market it as a women's because i think it's just like a cute oversized like beach top like i'd wear that to the beach these i think i bought for play-dohs given the brand but they were very unique the brand is forever 21 but i have never seen this tag on Forever 21 before so I thought they were cool and do they have a uh oh wait how does y'all I'm so confused how does this work these are going in the trash okay so mm hmm this is exciting so this is supposed to be attached to here with the zipper and the button but it completely ripped apart, so the zipper and the button is all on the same side. Those can't be worn. <laughs> I was so confused looking at that. I was like, what is going on? Whew. Okay. Might edit that out. I don't know. This, or these were so cute. And they were so freaking soft. They're fleece. And the brand is Cuddle Duds, which I didn't know the brand, but it was so cute the name was cute the sweats were cute they're like a legging kind of but i looked it up and it's like a good little lounge brand so maybe like 15 for that these were too fun i don't know what i'm gonna do with these but i just couldn't i couldn't pass it they're hooters shorts <laughs> i love finding random stuff like this like someone didn't want their workwear anymore so they were like donate it somebody else will want this like, this is their actual, like, outfit that they wear when they're working, which is, you know, but to each their own. Um, I actually did look these up, and there were people selling them. Not for very much, but I think, like, $12, $15 or something. I just thought they were funny, and they were a dollar, and I was like, I don't want this to go to landfill. I bought this for thread up, and then realized that the size tag was cut out when I got home, so it can't go to thread up. But it's just like a denim chambray top. It's definitely not the type of chambray that is in because it's like the acid washity, like tie dye kind of um, type. But it's Calvin Klein, which is why I was going to send it into Thread Up. Calvin Klein does well for me on there, but she's staying with me. I can barely like give Calvin Klein away. I don't know what's up with that, but I'll probably price it like twenty dollars. This was a new to me brand as well, but it was again like reseller intuition. These are so cute in great condition and the brand is Dylan and George, but look at this tag. It's so intricate and interesting. And then that looked brand stinking new. And then it again has like an embroidered patch on the back. So I thought they were super cool and I was like, I need this in my life. And it's the Elizabeth regular rise boot cut. It just gave me like big English vibes, like Elizabeth and then Dylan George. And then it even says date of birth, 01, 08, 07. 2007? Did they name it after their child? I don't know. I actually genuinely want to find out more about this. Hmm. Interesting. They're a size 29. And, like, the pockets, too, have a little... Have you guys heard of this brand? The comps were good, but I actually am, like, genuinely curious now because it has a date of birth on there. Was Dylan... Is Elizabeth his mom? Wait, what if what if Elizabeth is Dylan George's mom and she started a jean line and named it after him? I don't know if it's for him, but she just liked his name. I don't know. I'm going to stop trying to figure out people's life stories now, but I'm genuinely curious. Like, I'm definitely going to look that up and figure it out <laughs> for no reason. 
Uh, this was just cool. It's just a men's plain black t-shirt, but the brand was cool. The brand is BYLT, which I was like, bring your light toes. I don't know. Yeah. But it had the brand down here, so I'm pretty sure this is like an activewear brand. I don't know. I looked it up, I feel like, but I don't completely remember. But it's called the Drop Cut Long Sleeve BYLT Blend. And it's designed in USA, and it even has their website, like, on the tag here on the bottom. So I thought it could be worth something for a dollar. I'll figure it out. You know. Um, I also don't like picking up men's stuff, like... I feel like I just can't sell men's stuff, like even the trendier stuff. Um, but I am going to try taking like more trendy men's stuff to Crossroads and see what happens there. What is this? I can't figure out what this is. It's well, obviously it's a pair of leggings, um, but it doesn't have a brand on here. But this definitely looks familiar. Like someone cut out the first tag. But this, is this American Eagle? Is it? I don't know. This definitely looks familiar and it has this. Oh my god, this is from spring of 2020. That's literally this year. What? Oh, it's a spring 20 style. It was made in 1219. So meaning it came out in the spring. Ooh, I'll have to look up the RN. Do y'all recognize that? Like, if, if you can say that off the top of your head, I will be extremely impressed. Like, I love it when people do that. But these were super cute. They have pockets. They're size small. And they're just like a plain black legging. But they're like actual activewear leggings, so... It's from 2020, so I don't know. I took a chance on it. And that's everything I have. Yay! I am gonna work on this stuff actually right now. That's why I'm holding this. But to be honest, I don't know when you're gonna see this. I have, like, so much to, like, post. I'm trying to just video when I can because being a full-time college student, like, who knows when I'll have two weeks not able to do anything and then like have so much time later I yeah I never know like when I'm gonna have time and I have a pretty heavy school load coming up um I'm on break right now but you may be seeing this after I already started and I have a heavy school load so I got like seven videos just needed to be edited and uploaded and now there's this one so maybe I'll be back to thrifting by the time y'all see this. I don't know, I'm rambling. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching this video. This was actually a shorter haul, which I was not expecting. I guess because I broke it up. I don't know. But anyways, I appreciate you all coming. And if you like this video, hit that like button down below. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know when there's more, hit the bell notification. And that's all I have. Bye, everybody. Stay gold.